Welcome to Disneyland Paris. Join us as we spend two days in possibly the best money making machine in the world. It costs a fortune to get here, a fortune to get in, and it makes you spend a fortune when you're in it. Let's go. Been in here for one second, and you guessed it, she found a shop. Right, so guess how much Mickey Mouse ears are in there. Go on. 30 euros. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. I bought these. Two pounds for five out of four, I think. Bagging. Are you impressed? Bagging. <laughs> Exhilarating ride. I loved it. Although it was awesome. It was essentially just um, a world of dogs. And that's the biggest ride I've ever really managed to get her on. Every day when the parade's on, everybody flops out to see it. So my top tip is if you want to beat the queues for the rides, this is the time to go. The queues for the most popular rides can get absolutely massive. I've seen them up at 85 and 90 minutes. So it's definitely worth downloading the Disney app. That way you can check the queue times before going to the ride to see if you're going to get through quick. Real time queue length is displayed here. But if you're impatient, Disney's going to get your dollar. And that comes in the form of fast tracks. Over the course of two days, we bought four fast tracks. It's up to you to decide whether the money spent to time save ratio is worth it. In total, the four fast tracks save us four hours of queuing. The fast tracks have time slots, so we found the best way is to be outside the ride, check the queue time, then book your ticket. That way you know you're getting value for money. Ready, Sal? In total, we spent 110 euros. Ready for this exhilarating ride into Ab Neverland? Absolutely not. Right, if you want to um, queue for ages, for like 
30 seconds then do it it was actually quite good but it was a little bit short and it definitely won't work for 32 bats that we just paid to get on it on the fast track yeah it was better than queuing for 45 minutes then that's true but still i feel ripped off either way if i waited or if i paid we're tired we're weary the ears are coming off for 10 minutes and that is it let me happy because it's finally got a beer or oh, two because i brought two because i could have had one all day but i didn't know and then you get everything everywhere and then you my food yeah but it is very tiring it's so hot it's like 30 degrees and there's so much to do here we've packed so much in already and so much more to do yeah because now we're gonna head off so we'll see you in a bit place. Option number two is Dasty Duck. You can do it this way. Full on Dasty. And then option number three. Oh, who's this guy? Right, Who's this guy? I might say on the brother. Okay, guys, let me know in the comments who that is. Because I don't know. This is a big upgrade on the hooking hats, I feel. I mean, I won't go that far. I feel like the bigger the hat, the smaller your face looks. <laughs> so. The bigger the peak, you know what that means. Big peak, big, you know. Hat. Right, we've come to this bit. This bit's supposed to make you feel like you're in New York. So we've got the hotel, the department store, and all that, the street stores and stuff. Which is LA, yeah? Would make sense because it's a Hollywood studio. Obviously. <laughs> Or you know Sal, you know I've probably got away with this shopping trip lightly because there's so many shops in Disney we could have been here for three months so really with six shops in one day I probably got lucky but we were here for another day which meant that we visited a whole plethora of shops the next day all in all excluding travel two days in Disney in two parks including a hotel probably cost us around 800 euros so not cheap but definitely worth it. So if you want to come, get out here. Obviously, well, one of the things I bought was little Ratatouille. It's a little shoulder buddy. The second thing I got was a red panda me. Then I got a classic mini mouse. Okay, I got some little badges. Probably put these in my bag. Then I got something else, mini mouse, a mini mouse pen. Then I got a ah, mini mouse item, which is a mini mouse little photograph book. I got a mini mouse classic keyring. I got a Captain Marvel a lanyard. Very important to keep our Disney passes in. Got uh, one of the pin badges that you get to go on it. I also got my little favourite character, not say the birth. And then I got this little Marie keyring because I'm a big cat fan. Also got this amazing Disney jersey, which is now a bit creased. It's like special edition. I actually got 40% off this. The last thing we got, we actually got this together. So it's just it's not just for me. This is our perfect Christmas bauble. And it's the, uh, the Princess Castle uh, Christmas bauble. So yeah, very beautiful. And that is the end of my Disney haul. And now it's time for my Disney haul. And that's it, done.